I would like to demonstrate how to use a Turaya satellite transceiver if you would like to log to the internet or if you would like to connect a DVI 100 from one Tetra network into another Tetra network. Uh, we designed it for Turaya because it's a very small device, it's handy and it's ruggedized and it's very easy to operate and very easy to handle. On the back side of this device you will have a little compass Please make sure you have south direction. Put the device onto this mechanic. Depending on your location, it could be more or less angle. And then switch on the device using this push button. Once you switched it on, you have a second button with a symbol of a loudspeaker. Push the symbol of the loudspeaker and you will get an audio signal indicating the field strength of the satellite link. Now turn it slowly, you will hear the sound indicating the signal strength of the Toraya. Additional, you will have a bar graph and a percentage display. So I now will check we can see 65% and the display indicates standard and a little globe will indicate the device is ready to operate. Now you can use your laptop or you can use a DVI 100 to directly connect to the Turaya. Please make sure your subnet address is set to 255.255.0.0 and the Turaya itself has the IP address 192. 168 128 100. So if you would like to use the web server or to log, to log to the web server, just set your laptop to DHCP, get the IP address from the Turaya, make sure you have the subnet set in the correct way 255.255.0.0 and you directly can use the internet over Turaya or you directly use a DVI 100 to link to a second Tetra network. Thank you very much.